Hello, this is Myra Elaine on the Buying Space Channel. It is Easter Eve, and it is dusk at Easter Eve. And I'm going to read to you about the burial of Jesus. He died on the cross to save us from our sins. This is Matthew 27. Verses, starting in verse 57, the burial of Jesus. As evening approached, Joseph, a rich man from Arimathea, who had become a follower of Jesus, went to Pilate and asked for Jesus' body. And Pilate issued an order to release it to him. Joseph took the body and wrapped it in long sheets of linen cloth. He placed it in his own new tomb, which had been carved out of rock. Then he rolled a great stone across the entrance and left. Both Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were sitting across from the tomb and watching. The guard at the tomb. The next day on the Sabbath, the leading priests and Pharisees went to see Pilate. They told him, Sir, we remember what that deceiver once said while he was still alive. After three days, I will rise from the dead. So we request that you seal the tomb until the third day. This will prevent his disciples from coming and stealing his body and then telling everyone, he was raised from the dead. If that happens, we will be worse off than we were at first. Pilate replied, take guards and secure it as best you can. So they sealed the tomb and posted guards to protect it. Jesus Christ was tortured. He was beaten. With cat and nine tails, with objects in it to rip off his flesh. He was spat upon. He had a crown of thorns placed upon his head. He was hung between two criminals after his feet were nailed to the cross. And his hands were nailed to the cross. And he died a painful death. And then they took a spear. And cut into his side. That the devil wasn't done. After all that Jesus Christ had done for us, dying on the cross, the spin doctors were still at work. There have been millions of Jews that have not accepted Jesus Christ as their Messiah because their religious leaders kept leading them astray. I will tell you that in the year 73 AD, the temple was destroyed. The Pharisees and the Sadducees ceased to exist. The temple was gone. They weren't worshiping God. They were worshiping the sacrifices. They were worshiping the control. They were worshiping the power. They weren't worshiping God. And here, after Jesus Christ died, they had to do everything to try to make Jesus' sacrifice worthless. We're well beyond 73 AD. And where are they now? 
the people that helped crucify, capture, torture, and crucify Jesus are no doubt in hell. They no longer exist, and they will never again exist on this world. They are in eternal damnation. Do not, do not give in to Satan. Do not give in to doubt. Have faith that Jesus Christ was crucified and died for your sins and raised from the grave. Have faith that, that those facts are true. Do not give in to Satan's voice who says, well, what about this? What about that? Oh, they're going to deceive us. Sounds paranoid to me. Don't give in and believe in God and ask Jesus into your heart this Easter Eve. And tomorrow morning, online or in person, join a group of believers, a congregation, whether it's a live chat or whether it's a real preacher at a real church. Be with others of your faith and celebrate the body of Christ, the risen living body of Christ that you can be a part of. Have a wonderful and blessed Easter.